Hi everybody, uh, my name is Patricia Gunnels and I have the honor of serving as your PTO president for this school year. And I just wanna tell you a few things that I think will be helpful to you this year. And the first thing I'm gonna talk to you about and show you is the website, so let's go to that. Let me get over there. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. This is the homepage. And to get to the PTO page, you can either click down here on this tab or I'm gonna go up here to the parent tab, click on PTO, and then here we are. The top part, we'll, we'll talk mostly about uh, events that are imminently coming or it's just news, uh, events that have already happened. So if I click on Meet the Teacher, it talks about that day and then there are some pictures from that event. Um, right down here is Upcoming Volunteer Opportunities and there's things like Carline for this month and then the next month. So this month, August is there. September is already there. And then there's uh, events that are school-wide that are happening during the year. So the Picture Day, Grandparents Day, Sparkle Day, um, you get the idea. Down here you can see there's grade specific. These links will will take you to a page that's just about your grade. And here's some information about Carline Judy. These things are also on the side. So if I click Carline Judy over here, and here are all the car lines. And it, it, in each title will tell you which grade is responsible. Here's a general information about Carline. Um, but if you want, you could just go to your grade. Let's say I go to first grade. And then it tells me here what events are happening this year. And so, so right here it says November Carline. So even if I don't remember, if I don't look over there, I could click here and go to the Carline page. Um, we also have a school-wide events tab right over here. And so it, it talks about um, events that, that, are, that are pertinent to the entire school. So it talks about the bake sale, we just had one, and then um, the monthly assemblies that happen each month. And then the event that I want to talk to you about in particular was, is this one right here, Spaghetti Dinner and Silent Auction. And it's happening um, Friday, October 4th from 6 to 9 p.m. in the gym and cafeteria. Let me go back over here. Hello. Um, so spaghetti dinner is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, one of our dads is a professional chef at a prominent restaurant here in town, and, and he's agreed to take the night off to be here that night to be in the kitchen cooking and uh, running the kitchen. Um, he's also going to be working for days beforehand prepping the sauce. So he's working pretty hard. So be sure to say hi to him in the kitchen when you come by. Um, we're also going to have for entertainment in the gym, we'll have a, a face painter and a balloon artist. There'll be a DJ. Um, on the field, we'll have uh, like two bounce houses for the kids. Um, so come on by. Uh, I'm going to go back to the website for just a second to show you something else with spaghetti dinner. So the tickets are actually already available for purchase. So if you go to giving and then write down the second one, spaghetti dinner and silent auction. And here it is. So you could click here to purchase your wristbands. And right now they are $8. Um, and I encourage you to order now. Uh, that price will go will be it's going to be fifteen dollars at the door. So if you want to purchase your wristbands now, you just fill out this form right here. Uh, this little form will uh, disappear after Monday, September thirtieth. So please, please save yourself. It's it's almost fifty percent off if you buy it now. But if you wait till after the thirtieth, you have to buy them at the door, and they're fifteen dollars a piece. Um, so you'll get a wristband and we'll get a ticket with that with that eight or fifteen dollars. And what that what that gets is you get admission. And then so all the all the all the entertainment that's available there is included in the price of your admission. So that the face painting, the balloon artists, the, the bounce houses, dancing with the DJ, the food, and the the plate that you'll get will have spaghetti, salad, uh, bread, and then there will be desserts. Um, one of our one of another one of our parents, uh, she's a mom, she owns uh, two small cakes and she's donating the dessert. So the food is going to be amazing, y'all. So I hope to see y'all there. Last thing about spaghetti dinner is we're, we're accepting donations now. So um, things that are popular, electronics are always popular. So, you know, if you have an instant pot that's still in the box, feel free to bring it down. You can bring it to the front office and the, they'll notify somebody on the spaghetti dinner committee and, and we'll take care of it. Um, Electronics, jewelry, if you own a business and, and there's some services you could offer, like uh, if you have a tutoring business, you could offer tutoring services, or if you know somebody maybe that does dance classes and they can offer that. Um, but honestly, there's there's no donation that's too small. So if you bring an item, um, what we can do uh, is we'll group items together and kind of in, under a theme or something and, and then create a basket around that. So whatever you, you can bring, we, we would appreciate. Uh, and again, you just bring it by the front office and then we'll take it from there. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about, I'm going to go back to the web page for a second. Let me go back. So over here under parents, sorry, y'all. 
is the spirit store. So right now, um, from now on, the only the only item you can purchase year round is the napper right here. And here's the form to purchase the napper. And that's you purchase a napper, and then in the next couple of days, you'll have a napper in in your room, or if you if you come up to the office. So right now, if I click this right here, this image, if the spirit store is open, I would click here, and it would take me to the spirit shop. Um, but it's closed right now. It will be open again beginning of September, right after Labor Day. Um, so if you still uh, want to purchase items, so if you still need some uh, PE uniforms, if you still need the spirit shirt that's required for field trips, you, you'll, be, you'll get another chance to buy that. Um, you can also buy shirts like this one that I'm wearing right now. Um, there are other spirit shirts available for purchase and sweatshirts, and you can get all those at that time. We're going to open up the shop again in October. Um, and at that time, there'll be two items that are that are brand new that you won't see again just in the in October. And there are Christmas shirts, Christmas spirit shirts. So there'll be green shirts with with that. And there'll be cute little Christmas shirts. There'll be two of them, um, and and the kids can wear them. There'll also be adult sizes. But if the kids want to wear them to school, they can those count as spirit shirts, so they can wear them on spirit shirt days. Um, so if you want to get those Christmas shirts, be sure to make sure to go check out the spirit shop in October when it opens up and uh, you'll get that information in the newsletter and you can also check the PTO page periodically and you'll get updates on that. Um, the next thing I want to tell you, I'm going to go back to the web page again. So, um, sorry, under PTO. So right now we have these about us, Carline, all these things. We're going to be adding two new tabs underneath here. There's going to be, uh, one is going to be a wish list. Uh, and the other one's going to be called photos. And under the wish list, that's just what it sounds like. It's a wish list for faculty, so all the faculty and staff. Um, there'll be two links, basically. There'll be one link to the Amazon page, so our school has an account through Amazon Smile, and they can, we can create a wish list through that, so that, that link will be available. That will go to items that can be purchased through Amazon. And then items that can't be purchased through Amazon, there'll be a separate link that will take you to a sign-up genius, so you can sign up for items if you'd like to. Um, this is just to help out, especially the teachers that, that you know, parents we don't really get to see, like Miss Davis, who does art, Mr. Graham, who does music, and the coaches, uh, and, then, and then the upper school teachers, because as our kids get older, we tend to just drop them off. We don't necessarily see their wish list that they have in their room, so this helps uh, us know what it is that they want and need. I can tell you right now that the front office, um, they always need uh, 12 packs of, or more, of Diet Coke, Coke Zero, and they say occasionally teachers will have a Coke. But Diet Coke and Coke Zero are the two things that they love the most, and they always need them. Also, bottled water. So if, if you're ever in the store and you want to get an extra, you can feel free and drop it off at the front office. I know they would appreciate that. Um, the other tab that I talked about that we're going to be adding is, is going to be called Photos, and, and that's just what it sounds like. It's going to be pictures from uh, the school, from the school year. So if you're ever at school, and uh, even before Carline, or if you come up to have lunch, or if you're at an event and you get some pictures, feel free to send them to us. Um, we'd love to add them to the website. Uh, our email, you can send them to sfds.pto at gmail.com and just type in photos in the subject line. And if you want, you can put a little blurb in the body about, about what the photo is and maybe who's in it. Um, and we'd love to see your pictures up on the website. So feel free to send those to us. Um, if you just have any general questions or comments, you can, you can reach us at that same email address, sfds.pto at gmail.com. All the PTO officers, uh, get will get that email so somebody will get back to you within a business day um uh, there's only two more things i want to talk to you about and the first one is over here see this there we can sort of see it there's this form it says be involved room corner there we go room corner sign up and um one of these forms should be hanging in each homeroom and so if you would like to be a room coordinator for this school year please Sign up here. You can put your name, phone number, email, um, and that's it. You can be a room coordinator. It's a lot of fun. Our first room coordinator meeting is going to be Thursday. I believe it is. It's the day after the second pin night. So I think that's August 29th, if I have that right. Yes, Thursday, August 29th at 6 p.m. in the library. Um, and if if you know a parent who couldn't couldn't be here on pin night, couldn't physically sign up, and you know they want to, you can uh, let them know. It's also on the school calendar. Uh, anybody who wants to be a room creator can come to that meeting. Thursday, August 29th, 6 p.m. in the library. The very last thing I want to talk to you about is about this app called GroupMe. 
And uh, if you're great, if your class doesn't already have a GroupMe, I highly recommend that y'all start one. So it's a, GroupMe is an app that you download. It's, it's just a communications app. But um, what's nice about it is that uh, if, let's say, I start a group for a class of 2026, and then I add my friend, Eon, and then she can add her friend. I don't have to have the numbers. Uh, only one person has to have the number of the person they want to add. So when, when I get added, all, all everybody sees is, is my name. They don't see my number, my email, nothing. So once you get added, that's it. You can talk and you don't have to worry about uh, giving your information to people that maybe you haven't actually met in person. Um, but it's a nice way to communicate, not, not just about, you know, if there's a party or something like that, but if there's homework that you missed, especially in the lower grades when they get all the same homework, somebody can just send you a picture and, and send you the homework. And we did that a lot in, a, uh, in the grades that, that, I, that I've been in the group meetings with. Um, also, if, if uh, there's some kind of issue where uh, maybe you can't pick up your child at school and you need some help or uh, something like that, then, then parents are, the other parents are more than willing to help each other out. So it's, it's a nice way to get support and just to communicate in general about what's going on. Um, so uh, if, you, if your grade doesn't already have one, I encourage you to just go ahead and start one. You just have to download the app just start adding people. Um, and that's it. Um, thank you for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you this year. Again, if you want to email uh, the PTO, our email address is sfds.pto at gmail.com. Bye.